Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Camp Verde, and it involves camels. <laughs> yeah, camels. Some great history here. Y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Uh, Camp Verde, Texas, and there is a lot of ton of history here. I've been here once before, but I'm not sure if I did a video on it or not. I was out here with uh, David Canada and his friend Robert uh, Mahone. I think that's how you say his last name. Sorry, Robert, if I butchered it. And uh, I think we had a lunch out here, which was pretty cool. Uh, it's just uh, south of uh, Kerrville. And if you ever get a chance, you need to come out here. Uh, they have some great food. They've got a, a pretty neat gift shop and it's just a uh, neat grounds and everything. I think they have weddings and stuff here too. I'm not sure. <laughs> or events or something like that. Uh, let's go check it out. This is Camp Verde. And I'm pretty sure this is not what it looked like back then. Oh, cute little wiener dog. <laughs> this is the uh, gift shop and post office. Nice little picnic area over here. General store and post office. Visit our patio outside. Mercantile business opened in 1857 as Williams Community Store, serving trade around Camp Verde Army Post, site of the U.S. War Department in 1857 through 69, Camel Experiment. All ready for Halloween. Looks like some post office boxes and they're still in operation, looks like. Post office opened in 1887. Got some more P.O. boxes back here. A bunch of Yeti stuff. And this is the uh, pretty much all of the gift shop. I didn't know Yeti made lunch bags. Huh. And here's the uh, kitchen area. And they have an outside seating. Of course. I can say one thing. Today is a beautiful day. This is a beautiful little... Uh, area back here I don't know what that is escape hatch from roof or just roof access how are you awesome how you doing doing good like a bunch of butterflies here that are uh, pollinating while they're going down to Mexico
if you're ever in the uh, Bandera, Kerrville, Llano, West San Antonio area, come out and visit uh, Camp Birdie. It's well worth the uh, stop. It certainly is. It's beautiful out here. It certainly is not exactly like it was when they were doing the testing on the uh, for camels back in the war. <laughs> but it's definitely worth coming out here. It's coming through. Cars. Cars. I just, uh, came into Center Point, Texas, and I saw this uh, little quirky thing. I thought I'd show it to you. I had to stop and take a picture of it. Got this vehicle on top of uh, two uh, hay bales. It's really pretty, pretty cool. Uh, welcoming you to uh, Schuller's Farms in Center Point, Texas. <laughs> I know this is a Chevy, but I'm not sure what kind of Chevy it is. It says GMC on it. Probably a Suburban or some sort. Yep. All right, I'm continuing down the road. That thing look cool. Right here where I'm standing is uh, the Appelt Armadillo Farm. bear float. I had the camera the wrong way. Damn it. Howdy y'all, I'm here at the uh, Old Tunnel, Texas State Park. Um, one of these days I'll come out here and watch the bats fly out, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, let's go check it out. Looks like they got some uh, remodeling, refurbishing or something. In 1913, they built this tunnel uh, to link San Antonio and Fredericksburg. Wow, what a beautiful view. <laughs> anyway, this, the tracks were taken out eventually. Wow, and this right here is the bat viewing area. They're supposed to be coming out at 710. I won't be here. One of these days I'll come out and take a look. How you doing? Hey, how's it going, man? All right. And the tunnel comes out over there by somewhere on the other side where the... Uh, not too far from the Alamo Cafe over there, which has really good hamburgers. You gotta work off this root beer float I, uh, I had. <laughs> uh, this state park uh, doesn't have any fees. It operates off donations. And I don't think it costs anything to sit and watch the bats, so... 
I could be wrong on that part. But this uh, little state park here is in a beautiful area of uh, Texas here. And there is no camping at this state park, as far as I know. And it's, uh, it's a good ways down. So be prepared for the uh, walk back up. <laughs> Oops! Be careful, Rex. I think you can see the top of the tunnel through here. Yeah, there's the entry to the tunnel right there. Here, I've been here probably my fourth or fifth time. You can probably see the bats flying out. See, it was up there. And that's the entry to the tunnel. No more tracks. I'll make my way down. Alright, let's go on down. Looks like we got some pretty steep stairs coming up. We got a little bit of steep stairs here. A few people down here. The armadillo's coming our way. Oh, armadillo. Oh, yeah. He's slow. <laughs> Man, am I out of shape. Whew. All right, it says here that um, you can make donations because there is no entry fee or permit required between the hours of sunrise and 5 p.m. Here, during the month of May through October, a bat viewing permit must be obtained to be in the park after 5 p.m. The park will be closed after 5 p.m. during the months of November through April. Well, guys, if you're ever in the area of Fredericksburg or Looking back, uh, come over here and have dinner at Alamo Springs uh, Cafe. I've had their burger over there. It's awesome. Didn't eat today. I'm still full from uh, OST restaurant in Bandera, Texas this morning. I am still stuffed. Um, but stop at the old tunnel Texas State Park. It's uh, pretty darn cool. And if you're uh, healthy enough, Walk down to the bottom. You can see the bats still flurrying down in there in the tunnel, even though it's not time for them to leave. See, if you want to see the bats fly around 7 p.m., I think about this time of the month, um, you got to obtain a, a permit online. So be sure to do that. many times um, since it was on my way of my wandering around I thought I'd stop by again looks a little different not much but a little bit a big old hoss with a v8 in it and this is the motorcycle parking area Otherwise, if you're in a car, you need to park over there. And here's the uh, famous Lukenbach post office. 
for the pellet, the resting and the bride are more than necessary. Yeah, you can use that. Yeah. This is where you can get your t shirts, all kinds of looking about Texas stuff. And some looking back wine. Look, it's from the Becker Vineyard. What are your drinks here? Usually have bands playing here, and that looks like a new band stand there. I haven't seen that. This is the old dance hall right here. Take a gander real quick. Actually, look like they got roped off. Sometimes you can catch the uh, Longhorn out here and the cowboy and get your picture with him. Let's see him. Hey guys, if you're ever in the uh, Fredericksburg area, west of San Antonio, northwest, I'll be sure to stop by Luckenbach. Luckenbach, Texas. It's pretty cool. <laughs> y'all, uh, y'all make y'all's way down here to Luckenbach. I'm here in Liberty Hill, Texas, and I saw this awesome Veterans Memorial. Y'all take a look at this. I also saw a cool mural. I stopped and took a picture of that. Uh, didn't think it was video worthy, but hey, <laughs> this Veteran Memorial is. This uh, town did an awesome job on this. Uh, so let's take a look. You got a statue here for a monument to the vets awesome and out here they had the different departments of the the military here which is very very cool you just don't see little towns like this do this i mean this is awesome they got uh, the u.s army served with honor i don't know if there's anything on the other side not yet there is over here They've got U.S. Army and then the U.S. Coast Guard down there. They got some art back here. I don't know what that is. Maybe they're just covering up a well. The U.S. Air Force back here. And then U.S. Marines. And most likely these people here are from this area. I'm not sure. Some more U.S. Army more U.S. Air Force, U.S. Marines, Navy back here, and one down there for the Coast Guard, McMillan, and then served with the Army here. That's a lot of people. And this says, least not as forget, killed in service. I have to say this is an awesome, awesome veteran memorial uh, that this town did. Very, very cool. Uh, they should be proud of what they did, and uh, we should honor our vets. I mean, I didn't go to the, any of the armed forces. Uh, I was a fireman, and they say, yeah, 
I did service, but nothing like these guys, as far as I'm concerned. All right, well, I'm gonna continue on. I don't got much further to go. So I might have to check out this uh, historical marker go. It's starting to get dark and I really don't wanna ride in the dark. All right, this is uh, the Stubblefield Building. The Stubblefield Field Building, so. In 1871. Pretty cool. It's on the plaque. If you want to read it, pause it. I got to get on my way. not subscribed to me y'all should be click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that i've uploaded a video and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up share comment let me know what you think catch y'all on the road hey y'all let's start right here i uh it has a lot of texas history here uh, and involves camels. I don't know what that was. Let's try that again. Uh, they have some great food. They've got a really nice, neat, 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 neat. Excuse me. I wasn't even recording. What the heck is up with that?